We're talking about succession. So you've only got one or two species, your minerals aren't cycling quickly, your water cycle runs sideways, evaporates, really low succession, okay? And then we come across here when those processes are humming, high succession. Every drop of water is going into the soil, helping produce life, feeding your creeks, your creeks are running beautifully. Okay, so every environment all around the planet, we've got environments that are low succession, and we can move through to high succession. There are no boundaries, there's no physical barrier. We love to think there are physical barriers, there aren't. Above the line, perennials, because we want to focus on perennialty. Annuals are obviously opportunistic. If there's a gap, they can fit in. So who's got a plant that literally thrives down here, low succession? Some kind of flatweed, geranium? Yep, another one here. Cape weed. How does it grow? Grows flat to the ground, fibrous roots, okay. So again, we're moving up a bit. About there somewhere, but it's an annual. Wild radish, deep tap root, opening up the soil. Why would a plant have that big, bulky root to store energy in and to store water in? To keep itself alive when conditions are doing this because the environment's not great. You get a really healthy soil with vegetation this high, how do you think a plant like that's gonna survive? It's not, it's gonna despair. Every species is there because the environment suits it. Again, please, there are no boundaries. This is hugely messy. You know, plants overlap. Some of them have really narrow zones. Others have huge zones, but there are no barriers. So if you're starting and your paddock looks like this, it's full of cape weed, it's full of you know, silver grass, it's, this is what it is. What can you do to move yourself in this direction? It change the way we manage our animals. Well, there's a whole range of things we could do, but the idea is through our management, we change the environment. And as we change that environment, these species generally will come. But the idea is we keep moving in this direction. And as we move in this direction, we will get new plants. But we will also lose plants. But as we build up here, we get more species, more resilience, more diversity. A greater diversity of plants, more resilience, okay? Now you're moving up here, and what happens? A drought. Now if we manage it correctly, we start moving forward again, okay? And then we have a fire. Okay, and if it's that kind of fire that bears off the ground and bakes the soil, we go backwards again. These plants move in, and they're doing a fantastic job. You know, as people have said, they are telling you what that environment is at that moment. They're the messenger. But if we manage to change our environments to move up to here, this is where you create resilience. So when you have droughts, floods, fires, here you, you're fairly static, you're fairly resilient. And it's not just you. It's your local town, it's your local school, it's your local hairdresser. Because literally, those communities are only there because of sunlight landing on a green leaf. And if we don't manage our land to capture that sunlight, you end up over here.